What's up guys, Jock217, we are back to the LP of Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix lately, and, and my last two episodes I did were on Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, so I got a little tongue-tied there. Um, sorry if I sound a little bit quiet, um, it is already quiet hours, and I don't want to, you know, cause any trouble, and since I'm not going to be doing any episodes for the next three or four days because of Thanksgiving, um, I just thought I'd get one episode out right now. Um... Just want you to know, I did a little bit of grinding off screen, and I learned a new ability, and that ability is Ars Arcanum. And at first, I didn't think I'd use this attack, but I am indeed gonna use this attack because it is freaking badass. <laughs> it is really, really good. But um, as you can see, you can only use it if the card value is one to six, which is really, really shitty. But I've come up with the, something that can that could make it useful. But I'm going to need a lot of card points for that. Alright, so anyway, we left off um, with fighting Riku again the second time. And Sora's wondering why Riku wants to fight constantly and, how he, and why he just won't team up with him and all that jazz. So that's just pretty much where we left off. And today we're going to go to Won Neverland. <laughs> wow, I was almost at Wonderland. I'm really tongue-tied today, aren't I? <sighs> Alright. Alright, um, oh yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know now, if music comes up out of nowhere, that's to cover static. And I am also glad that, um, I never have to use the shitty-ass YouTube editor ever again. Thank God. Alright, and here we are in Neverland. Huh, looks an awful lot like a pirate ship. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> Where are we now? Hmm... The floor is kind of unsteady. I can hear the ocean, too. Dude, dude, dude. I know, we must be inside a ship. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> well, we better find a way out. But which way do we go? <laughs> what? Who are you? It's a cute little fairy. Maybe she's trying to help us. <laughs> Looks like you're right. Mm -hmm. I like Neverland. I wish, I wish Neverland actually existed. I want to learn how to fly. That'd be awesome. Key of Beginnings. And Sora learns glide. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And in the beginning of Neverland, you learn glide. And <laughs> I completely forgot until now. Um, now that we have glide, we're actually gonna need leave Neverland for a little bit. We're gonna leave Neverland for a little tiny bit because there's something I want to get that I couldn't get before because I didn't have glide. Do do. Okay. Shall we explore the ship? Yeah, we will, but let's go back a minute. Uh, we're going to go back to 100 Acre Wood real quick, so I'll see you there. Okay, here we are back at the 100 Acre Wood where we did uh, the Tigger minigame here. Um, now that we have Glide, we if we jump up here and then come over here, we see a treasure chest right there. We couldn't get there before, and believe me, I tried, but we couldn't get there before because we didn't have Glide. But now that we have Glide, if we open this chest right here, we get Spellbinder, a level one, come on. And yeah, I, I, I knew you could get Spellbinder here, I just, I couldn't remember how. But now that we have Spellbinder, let's, let us take a look at how strong that Keyblade is, shall we? I believe it is really, really strong in Thrust. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, okay, yep, it has really, really, really powerful Thrust. Sorry, my phone went off. Curse you, Gerudo Valley. Alright, it has a really powerful thrust, as you can see. It is an A. It is very, very powerful. It has the most strongest thrust here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say thrust without laughing. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, it has a very powerful thrust attack, and it is sadly lightning based, so be very careful around who you use it as. So if you're thinking about using a spellbinder on Lark Scene, don't. <laughs> don't do it. Alright. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I'll meet you back at Neverland. Okay, here we are back in Wonderland. Neverland. Ay ay ay. Okay, anyway, Neverland. Um, this world is pretty fun, and wow, already Heartless are attacking me? Goddamn. Okay, um, these Heartless, they're not too bad at all. Uh, all you're mainly gonna fight is shadows and pirates and stuff like that. And these Heartless aren't really too powerful, their card values aren't that high. The it's nothing to worry about. Um, don't worry, the only random encounters I'm going to show are just the ones in the first room. After that, it's just going to be... Um, it's just going to be... Cut it out. Like, edited it out. 
Like, you won't have to see all the random encounters I do. It's only going to be the ones in the first room. After that, it's all edited out. I'm still going to try to avoid fighting Heartless as much as possible since I already grinded off screen, so it's no big deal. But yeah, oh man. Only a few more days left, people, and then Kingdom Hearts 2.5 comes out, at least for me. I don't know about those in the other parts of the world. I mean, I live in California, so I don't know how it works for other people. And I completely missed. What the fuck? Okay, well, plan B. Um, time to use a new slate called Fyraga Burst, or as I like to call it, Mini Meteor. <laughs> That's badass, isn't it? It's pretty much Mini Meteor, as I like to call it. Okay, and I'm not sure if these guys are immune to thunder, are they? No, they're not. Okay, cool. Alright, and... On the slash. He doesn't suck, people. Yes, I haven't forgot that tradition. I like I like the music in Neverland though. It's pretty badass. I like it. All right, come up here. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 comes out very soon. I hope and pray to God that I'll be able to afford it. I really, really hope I can. Because <laughs> I need to play that game. It has been a freaking decade. I can't wait any longer. Well, it's been a decade since I could, since I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. I have never played it before in my whole entire life. And that will indeed be a blind LP. So, just thought I'd note that. And don't worry, the day I get it is the day I will start recording. You can count on it. Yes, I am going to announce that in pretty much every single episode until I get that game. <laughs> every single episode. Uh, I just hope that my financially financial situation isn't too severe to where I can't afford it. Which I really hope and pray it's not. Because <sighs> I really want that game. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough I already had to cancel Pokemon Omega Ruby. I don't want to cancel this too. I mean, I'm, I'm walking around school and everybody's playing freaking Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire and uh, it pisses me off that they get to enjoy it and I don't. It's so not fair. But, oh well. I like this song though. I like the music. See, I think... Out of all the video games I have played, next to Final Fantasy, of course, I think Kingdom Hearts has, like, the best music overall. I mean, almost every single song in Kingdom Hearts just doesn't disappoint. Now, Final Fantasy, I can't say the same thing, because there are some songs of Final Fantasy that are just flat-out annoying. But, nonetheless, it still has pretty badass music. So, I'm not complaining. <sighs> Man, I love this music though. Kingdom Hearts just has the best music ever. And you know what? I th you remember how I said I'm gonna show all the random encounters? I take that back. I think I got that, because I forgot the higher you go, the longer the Heartless battles take, and I know you guys don't want to see all these battles. I mean, I'll show you like one or two just to show you what the Heartless are like, but after that... Really, Gerudo Valley? Come on. Who keeps texting me? Man, I'm going to shut my phone up. Alright. All right. I'll let you know when I'm done with all the random encounters, and then we'll go on with the story. Just like to call them calm bounty exclusives, because there's no Heartless. And, of course, naturally, you want to smash everything around you, because of Moogle points, and cards that'll come out like see it looks like I got a thunder um, a zero thunder huh that's actually that'll come in handy but the only zero cards I actually use is keyblade cards all right HP orbs when I don't need them naturally because this game likes to piss me off and fire awesome okay if we open the chest right here we get teleport rematerialize behind the targeted enemy stunning it for a short time <laughs> So, like I need to say anything else, you teleport behind the enemy, and you can attack them. And they'll temporarily be stunned. And naturally, it doesn't work on bosses. I think. I'm, I've, I think I tried it only once, but it didn't work. But then again, I tried it on Lark Scene, so... <laughs> that, and that's Lark Scene. So, I know a lot of things don't work on that bitch. That sexy bitch, but nonetheless... I don't know. 
All right, let's see. Fire, more fire, more Moogle points. All right, and I believe this is the second combat exclusive. So if we open the chest right here, we get... Oh, there's only one? Oh, that's a bummer. All right, well, I got a lion heart, so I'm happy. Okay. Huh, I thought there was two in this world, but I guess not. All right, let's see which room this is. Is this the key to rewards, key to truth? Uh, it's the key to truth, so I'm not going here yet. Alright. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the key to beginnings and the key to rewards are both the same way. So, I'll meet you... I think first the key to rewards. I'll meet you at the key to rewards. Okay, after fighting Heartless for like a good maybe 30-20 minutes, we are finally here at the key to rewards room. Um, and for this door, all we need is a blue card with two exactly, and I have a strong feeling that I don't have that. Oh, yes, I do. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! And remember, if all else fails, I have that baby, which is why you want to save that shit. Save that shit as much as possible, trust me. Alright, now we, now that we got the key to rewards, we are going in. Alright. <sighs> yeah, um... This video is already getting to 40 minutes long, but I'm going to edit out like a good 30 minutes just because I was uh, fighting Heartless. Because I'm trying to stock up on a uh, CP, so... Yeah. Alright, and of course, after smashing everything around us... Is there more stuff? Is there more stuff? Gosh. Okay, and I think I was right. I think after you beat the game, that's when true treasure chests show up in the room rewards. Alright, if we open this chest, we get Thunder Raid. Do I need to say anything? It's Strike Raid with it's Strike Raid with Thunder. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you guys at the key to beginnings. Alright, and here we are at the door to the key to beginnings. Alright, so all this requires is just a simple red card, and naturally I'm going to use these cards that power up Heartless for some... Why people would create this card for some ungodly reason, I don't understand, but okay, whatever floats your boat, Square. Uh, but yeah, seriously, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 though, it needs to come out already. I really, really hope and pray to God that I don't cancel that pre-order too, just like I did with Pokemon Omega Ruby, so... But, we'll see. Is it just me, or are the rooms starting to look the same? <laughs> you guys are lost. Maybe we're just going in circles? You probably are. Some help she was. <laughs> and Donald, you're such a douche. I think you might have ruffled her feathers, Donald. She doesn't have feathers, Goofy. Get it right. Tink, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to bring the pirates with you. And there's Robin Hood. <laughs> I'm kidding. Stay back, pirates, or this will be the last fight you pick. And there's Peter Pan. What's the big idea? We're not pirates. We're only here because... Uh... Um, why are we here, Sora? Huh? How am I supposed to know, Donald? Goofy, what do you think? Gorsh beats me. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. Sora, Donald, and Goofy, right? I guess if you were the real pirates, you wouldn't get lost in your own ship. Plus, you're dressed funny. <laughs> there you go again! Wait, so if you thought we were pirates, this must be a pirate ship! Really? Nice going, Captain Obvious. Ten points for you. That's right, you're trapped inside the Jolly Roger, ship of the old codfish, Captain Hook. I love that movie. Oh, Robin Williams played him too. <laughs> uh, well, if we're trapped, that means you are too. Me? Don't be silly. No one can capture Peter Pan. I'm just laying low until it's time to spring my plan. What plan is that? The pirates kidnapped my friend Wendy. She got to be she's gotta be somewhere on the ship. I didn't expect there to be so many pirates on watch though. I sent Tink to look for a way around. But all she found was you. I bet I know what Tink had in mind. If we all made a big enough racket, we can distract the pirates. Or she must have read her mind. Yep. So how about it? Let's work together, at least until we get above deck. Well, why not? Of course, I could save Wendy myself if I wanted to, but you guys look like you'd be stuck without me. <laughs> wow. Conceded much, Peter? Don't you have any manners? 
He's pure pan. Of course, he doesn't have any manners. Come on, Donald. Get it right. All right. And, of course, naturally, we get the key to guidance. So now we are off to the next part of the story. If this thing will ever load. Come on. Okay, cool. Now that it loaded, I will see you at the door to the key to guidance. Hey, guys. Um, I know I told you I'd meet you guys at the key to guidance, but um, I thought I'd get into one battle just to show you what uh, Peter Pan can do. I believe he is just like Aladdin if you use him and every time he hits the enemy he will drop Moogle points. So I just thought I would show that to you guys real quick. But first I gotta get Peter Pan if he'll ever- there he is. Okay, and a level 5? Okay, I can handle that. Alright. Peter Pan! And this one's fun because every time you press triangle, yeah he does drop Moogle points every time he hits him. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that every time you use Peter Pan and he hits the enemy he will indeed make them drop moogle points i decided to show that to you guys okay once i'm done kicking all these guys asses i will meet you guys at the key of guidance okay after another half hour of fighting heartless um we are here at the key to guidance for this one we need a nine card on the dot and i just found my card yay oh, i should have used that one. Oh, oh well all right so um you guys are probably wondering why i'm fighting like spending so much time fighting heartless right now it's because um, I'm trying to raise my CP so I can get um, more cards and stuff. Like, I wanted to add Genie Jafar, and I wanted to add three Keyblade cards so I can use Ars Arcanum. But um, I'll show you that combination in a minute. There she is. And here is Wendy. Peter, Peter Pan. Uh, I don't feel like it, imitating people's voices. Wendy, are you alright? I've come to rescue you with my three new Lost Boys. <laughs> Lost boys. I love those guys. Come on, let's get off this leaky old tub and do some exploring. Haha, <laughs> we'll never grow up. Listen, Peter, I've got something to tell you. I want to go home to London. What are you talking about? Why would you want to do that? You've had to turn into a grown-up. Besides, going on adventures is lots of fun. If you go back to London, you'll, you'll have to leave the nursery. <laughs> what? You'll grow up and we'll never see each other again. I know, Peter, but I still want to go home. I came to rescue you and you don't care if you ever see me again? <laughs> no, you don't understand. Suit yourself, and while you're at it, rescue yourself. I'm leaving. Jeez, what a dick. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. There he goes. Peter. Not very thoughtful, is he? What do we do now? Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we think of something once we get up on deck? That doesn't make any sense, I think. Well, there's still trouble waiting outside. Wendy, you stay here. We'll try to create a distraction. Alright, be careful. Maybe if you stay here, Peter will change his mind to come back. Alrighty, and now we finally get the key to truth. And now I don't have to worry about any more Heartless because I've fought in all the Heartless that I wanted to fight. And just because of that little activity this episode is already over an hour long but don't worry it's not gonna be an hour long because of course I got to edit out all them heartless fights because I know you guys don't want to see any of that just one or two just to show you what the heartless are like and then after that we're done alright so anyway like as I was saying beforehand um why I was fighting so many heartless in this episode is because I wanted to get two things. One of them was these three uh, premium Keyblade cards. I know I said I wouldn't use premium cards, but I'm only going to use these three for slates, and that's going to naturally be our Sarcanum. And I wanted to get Genie Jafar, and he costs 65 freaking CP, but it makes sense because it's good, and um, because his ability is Attack Bracer. It prevents the enemy from breaking any attack cards you use, and that includes slates as well. So naturally it's a really good it's a really 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 good card to have but it costs so goddamn much uh, which is why it took all that time to fight the heartless and level up and all that jazz but no need to worry about that <laughs> All right now here we are Almighty Darkness, naturally, because I'm never, ever, ever going to use that card. And here's the key to truth. And naturally, it is time to fight a boss. Three guesses on who it is. 
Huh. I wonder who the Disney boss is. I wonder who we're gonna fight on Captain Hook's ship in Peter Pan's world. I wonder who the boss is gonna be. I have no idea. I think it's Ursula, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know who it is. Phew, we finally made it out. There you are, you rascals. And there he is. Mr. Captain Hook. I'll teach you how to play stowaway on my ship. Friends of Peter Pan, I'll wager. Are we his friends? He sure didn't seem to think so. Yeah, the way he took off like that, he even ditched Wendy. I'm not finished talking yet. How dare you ignore me and plot behind my back. In uncivilized brats. You're in cahoots with Peter Pan, no mistake. If you say so. Either way, you're gonna let us off this ship. And Wendy's coming with us. Think again, you scallywags. Hook's one step ahead of you. Oh no! Wendy! Any trouble and Wendy takes a long walk off the plank. Eh, I don't feel like doing his voice right now. You wouldn't. Believe me, I'd rather not. After all, I need Wendy to bait that blasted Peter Pan. Then I'll just have to take the bait. You old codfish. And there's Peter Pan. Peter! Here I am, Hook. Missed me? Insolent brat, today is the day you pay for taking my hand. Uh-oh. Ah, How he can keep his balance on his tippy toes at the end of a wooden board while falling forward, I don't understand, but okay. You made a fool of me for the last time, Pan. I'll cleave you to the brisket. Whatever the hell that means. Okay, now, this fight with Captain Hook is actually can be pretty difficult if you don't know what you're doing because he can use slates and he can use zero cards he's just as difficult as the organization members but they're not he's not that much okay and before I use RSR Canum I'm gonna use Genie Jafar now I oh dang it okay come on okay uh, there we go and he can't break me Aw, dang it I missed though and I now I'm gonna get rid of Lionheart Dang it. Get down here. Dang it. That was a waste. Because I didn't get to do the whole combo. But it's okay. Because I pressed triangle too soon. RSR Cannon is like um, Sonic Blade. If you use it if, if you use it too soon or if you don't hit the guy, then it'll get cancelled. So, that's a downside. Uh, dang it. Okay. And as you can see, the attack bracer works for uh, slates as well. So, as long as you use it first, you will not get broken. And I'm trying to find the zero card so I can use Ars Arcanum. Alright, okay, here we go. And I'm waiting for him. Okay. Dang it. There we go. There we go. And I still didn't get to do the full combo, but oh well. And I'm not using uh, I'm not using thunder on him because he's uh, completely immune to thunder. See, like I used spellbinder on him and he didn't draw it. And I'm about to die. Uh, uh no, 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 no. I am not dying to this bitch. There we go. Heal. There we go. Oh jeez. Okay, let's see. Okay, that would have worked on him. Okay, I'm waiting for him to use his... Get down here. Alright, Mini Meteor. And what? Bull fucking shit. Ugh. Ugh. That's bullshit. Die. Oh, no, he didn't die yet, but oh well. <sighs> like like I said, Hook isn't a joke. He will kick your ass if you don't fight him right. Uh, and time for Omni Slash, which he will most likely break, maybe. Yep, as predicted. Okay. Okay, don't break it, don't break it. Yeah. And I think he's about to die. And, uh, 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 die. 
yeah. Take that, bitch. Woohoo! Yep. So that fight with Hook can be indeed difficult if you don't fight him right, but other than that, he's not too bad. He just has high level cards, is all. Alright, and naturally we get his card, which is a very, very, very good enemy card to have. I'll show you what it does after this cutscene. I can't believe I almost died there, though. Jesus. If I would have died, I would have... Ugh. Lord knows how I would react. Thanks, Peter. We owe you one. Well, at first I thought I'd let you handle it, but it really looked like you needed help. <laughs> there he goes being conceited again. But hey, you three did pretty good, though. Wendy, about London, are you sure you don't want to change your mind? Peter, I'm sorry, but I really want to go home. I was afraid of that. Everyone grows up, and grown-ups always forget. First you'll forget about what it's like to be young, and then you'll forget about me. How can you say such a thing, Peter? I'll never, I'll never ever forget you. Sure, that's what you think now, but when you try to remember me, the memories will be gone. You'll forget little by little, one memory at a time. Once you're grown up, there won't be a single memory left. Yes, this game is called Chain of Memories for a reason. Even in every single Disney World, they will talk about memories. Don't say that. Memories, even important ones, don't come back to us whenever we want them to. But that doesn't mean the memories are gone, it's more like, like they're sleeping. So when the right thing comes along and wakes the memory up, we can remember it. The memories engraved in our hearts never go away, I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. He's right, Peter. Never, huh? It's funny, I thought everybody who left Neverland forgot all about it. But I have a feeling you guys just might be different. Okay, Sora, if you say we'll meet again, then I believe you. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. <laughs> Let's go, Wendy. London is waiting. <laughs> Sorry if I don't... I don't feel like really... Im ah, my God. I can't talk straight right now. I really don't feel like imitating Disney characters today. Goodbye, Sora. I'll be waiting to see what you look like all grown up. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. And Tink is following him. Uh-oh, wait, no. Wait a minute. Oh, she's coming back. She forget something? What's the matter, Tink? And Tinkerbell gives us her card. This must be a gift from Peter. Maybe he's not such a thoughtless guy after all. <laughs> Ow! Oh, he drops a Moogle on Donald. Another gift from Peter. What's the big idea? <laughs> Aw, poor Moogle. And we get Tinkerbell. Um, I'll show you what that does, too. I'm only level 4 Tinkerbell, though. Come on. I want to get a level 9, because that's a really good one. All right, so um, what Tinkerbell does is... Uh, if I can find her. Where'd she go? Okay. Tinkerbell restores a great amount of HP over time. So, it's a very, very good card to use. I think I might use that because Kiraga just might not be enough, but we'll see. And Hook, retain one HP after a critical hit, provided that you have two or more HP left. Does that sound familiar? Yes, Captain Hook gives you second chance. So, that may come in handy, but then again, that may not. And it's only worth 35. So, you gotta remember, once you're hit... You better heal up immediately, otherwise you're going to die. So, I might not use it because, I don't know, in my opinion, this, uh, like, I don't know, second chance is not really good in this game, in my opinion. I mean, especially when you get better abilities later on. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, I also got uh, two new, I mean, I got the uh, Keyblade cards. I got a new Keyblade. It was called, um, Fairy Harp. And Fairy Harp, it's okay, but I might not, it's not worthy enough to be in this, uh, in this LP. Like, the strikes are all the same, and, but the break recovery is amazing, so every time you use it and you get broken, you'll, like, it'll, it'll be like you're not broken at all, so, that's a good card to use, I suppose. Alright, and more Booga Points, naturally, and... That's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I'll show the next cutscene, but I know there's not a boss fight. But just in case I could be wrong, which I know I'm not, but just in case, I'm going to save. Do, 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 do
And I hope and pray to God that there is no static in the next cutscene, because if there is, then I'm going to have to just re-record it and cut it over it, but hopefully there's not. And if there is, then I'm going to re-record it. I'm not going to put music over it. I learned my lesson in one of my other videos. Alright, okay, here we go. Okay, here's a cutscene, let me shut up. must have finally got tired of fighting with you. I sure hope so. Not. Sorry, he didn't get tired of fighting you. He just wanted to take a little break. And I'm not going to talk to those two because it's not worth it. And if we jump up here, another cutscene. So what's going on, Vexen? Your Riku was supposed to counter Sora. What's he waiting for? Where is he? He's hiding somewhere to lure Sora deeper into the castle, right? I suppose we should just leave it at that, you know. Aha! Oh, I see now. I would have never guessed that. So sorry, Vexen. Silence! Predictable response. Forget it. Men without hearts are so boring. You're one to talk. As if you have such a heart to speak of yourself. That's enough. Lucia. Vexen. The simple fact is that your project was a failure. You'd best not disappoint us again. Disappoint you? You go too far! In this organization, you're number 11. I'm number 4 and I will not have you! <gasps> I've been entrusted this castle and Namine by our leader. Defying me will be seen as treason. Against the organization. Traitors are eliminated. I believe that's what the rules say. Who needs a half-baked good-for-nothing anyway? <gasps> Vexen, you cannot win against Sora. Pity to be so ignorant. As you're only able to see the surface of things, I should not expect you to appreciate my true might. Oh? Then let us watch as you prove it. What? None of us wish to be suspicious of a comrade. Your insincerity is comforting. You give a challenge like that to Vexen and he'll... seriously want to eliminate Sora. That would be an unfortunate denouement. What to do? Your hero is soon to be wiped from existence. But I believe there is a certain promise that he made you. Isn't that right, Namine? Yes. Hold on, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I got interrupted. Anyway, continuing. Wow! The floor. We've got to work pretty high. And that must mean we've lost ten whole floors worth of our memories. Sora, it's still not too late. Don't you think we should turn back? Can't do it. Because that would break an old promise that I made. An old promise? What would that be? On the islands, I promised Namine that I'd keep her safe, no matter what. But I forgot it. I didn't remember until I started forgetting everything else. A promise between the two of us. That's why I can't leave. Now that I remember the promise, I have to keep it. Of course. We understand, Sorrow. 
So now he's mentioning a promise that he made to Namine. Supposedly. Not. Alright. That's gonna have to do it for this episode because it's already almost an hour and a half long and I've got a shitload of editing to do and all that jazz. So that'll do it for this episode, guys. See you guys later. Be safe.